Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this little thing where it passes through kind of like a cone shaped thing. Um, I saw this and I thought, wow, it would be great to try to design that. Um, but then I thought, no, there's no ways I can do that. It's a bit too advanced. But then I thought about it and thought about it and realized I can do it. So today we're just going to go through the process of how to do that. We're going to print it out and see how it turns out. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with a sketch. So create sketch, sketch on the front plane, L for line tool, and I'm going to go up to 80 millimeters. Then L for line tool again, and from the bottom, I'm going to go 45 over two. Um, so that'll give us a total radius once we've done the revolve of, uh, or a diameter rather, of 45. Um, and then line tool, just up to there. But I want a bit of a curve there, so I'm gonna get my spline tool and just kind of shape a curve on the edge there. T for trim, and I'm gonna trim these two off. Not too worried about this being fully constrained. If you really wanted to, you could hit the fix, unfix, and there it's not going to be moving. Then finish sketch. Now I'm going to use the revolve tool, revolve that, select our axis, and we've got our cone. So from this, we're going to be using uh, the combine tool a couple times. So now I'm going to go to the bottom and create a sketch on this bottom piece over here and start with the center diameter circle of 13 millimeters. I'll just use the line tool L, make sure that we're on construction line. I'm gonna draw this slightly off here, and this is gonna be maybe 25. Now let's stick to 20. Okay, 20 is good. Now we're gonna be using our spline tool to sort of draw our shape. Let me turn off construction there. Draw this sort of flower shape. Um, I want to get that tangential there. So I grab a tangent tool, click our line, click our circle, and then it's made a tangential there. Now we'll go to mirror. I'll mirror this. Mirror line will be this line we just drew. So there we've got our sort of first flower shape. Now what we'll do now is we'll use a circular pattern on this and center point will obviously be the center there and we're going to do six so five six there we go um, i'm happy with that now we actually need to do another sketch on the front plane because i need a sweep path from the center there we'll draw it up going right past there finish sketch now here comes the fun part. It took me a while to figure this out, but we can just use a sweep of this profile that we've drawn. Select all the bits and pieces. Our path will be this line we've just drawn over here. And we can see it's going straight through there. I'm gonna put a twist angle on there of about 300 degrees. And it's cutting through. Okay, but now I forgot I needed to just copy that. So I'll just step back there. I'm going to right click on you, move copy, and we're going to choose the body. This body, create copy, and okay. Now you should have two bodies of the same thing. So I'm going to turn off the second body, use our sweep tool, and we'll see we've got the complete one and the incomplete one or the one that's been cut through. Now I will go to combine, select our copied one that's full as the target body. The tool body will be our one weave. Cut and keep tools or else you'll lose that part. So now when we turn body one off, we'll see we've got that nice spiral over there. And we've got the sort of the negative of that inside there. Um, but now this has got a very, very fine tolerance. So I'm going to use press pull 
and I'm just going to select, let me just clear that selection. I'm going to select these internal bits that we're going to be sliding through. Let's make sure I've got all of it. And once we've got all of it, we're going to push that out, just give us a little bit of a gap so the tolerance isn't so tight and it should pass through there a lot easier than if we didn't do that. So I'm quite happy with that. And we'll go negative 0 0.0.15. So it's really just a tiny bit. Um, it should keep all the dimensions uh, relative. So if we turn on this body, we can see we've got a little bit of a gap there. Everything looks the same. I'm just going to go inspect, use our section analysis. So I just went up there, inspect, selected section analysis. And now I'm going to select this face or that, um, that plane. And we can move through and just check that as we go through, the lines aren't um, sort of forcing into the same space. And we can see we've got a bit of a gap. Okay, so that's our design part done. Now we're going to go put it in our slicer and put it in the printer and see how it turns out. So I'm going to click on File, Export, and we're going to change this to a step file. But before, I mean, not a step file, a STL, but I actually want to do one body at a time. So then we go File, Export, and Call that bottom STL and we'll just export it there. Now I'll switch that around and export the second body. Export and there we go, top. Now they've both been exported. We're going to go into uh, our Creality Slicer and slice that. So I'll just drag and drop the top in there. And uh, you can probably just use your standard slicer settings. I'm going to turn off the support. Three walls is fine. 35% infill. And should have ironing on top layers, although that won't really matter here. We'll slice this. And how long is it going to take us? We've got 52 minutes. So the other side will probably be about the same. So now I'll just send this to the printer and we'll get started with that. I'm going to drag the bottom. Same thing, we're going to use the same settings, slice the plate and hopefully it prints it out no problem. Um, not cutting off any edges or having any stringy bits, although we can burn those off a bit. And 46 minutes. Now we'll save this one, send it to the printer and we'll come and have a look once it's done. Let's have a look at our little pass through cone thing. Uh, we've got the top and the bottom section there. I can see they fit nicely together. They're sliding through one another. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So why don't you guys go give it a try. If you've got a printer, maybe print it out. Uh, leave a comment to tell me how yours turned out. Uh, but until next time, bye.